Hey, YouTubians, got a real short one here for you today. Um, taking your Switch 8s, if you run them, and running power off of a separate power supply other than just from your NCE system, uh, you get these 5.5 outer diameter by 2.5 millimeter inner diameter power plugs, and then I'm running a 2 amp 15 volt DC power supply. This is actually was already being used on the railroad for the helix detection system. Now I have it pulling double duty. The benefit of this is, is it removes the electrical load that you have on the NCE system, uh, which allows just more locomotives to be operating on the track without taxing the system. And if you ever do happen to have a short on the track, you know, because little shorts happen when things go over turnouts and crossovers and whatnot, these will not be interrupted. So if there's any kind of communication error or power it'll all be taken care of and they'll continue to run they operate at the same speed as far as the tortoise switch machine as they did when they were powered by nce so no problems there just don't have to worry about them getting interrupted by a intermittent short on the railroad you could do this if you wanted to by hooking up an eb1 and having a circuit breaker off your nce system but you still have the the electrical current load this completely eliminates it and does not require you to run anything additional. Um, I think I got the power plugs for 15 bucks. I got the power supply for eight. Um, and then of course, wire, solder, heat shrink, uh, and you're good to go. It's a pretty simple deal. Uh, and I can uh, put all, I can put the description, the Amazon stuff in the description if you desire. All right, have a good one. Keep it real. Ha, ha, ha.